Grade 7 TCAP practice test, uh, math section, question number 31. This question is really annoying. It has extra numbers that you don't really need. An 8-ounce container has 6 ounces of coffee and 2 ounces of milk. A 20-ounce container has the same ratio of coffee to milk. How many ounces of milk are in the 20-ounce container? Now, it tells me that in an 8-ounce container, I get 6 ounces of coffee, 2 ounces of milk. One of those things is useful and one of them is not. The question in the end asks about how many ounces of milk there are. The middle statement sort of helps me rectify the situation. It says a 20 ounce container has the same ratio of coffee to milk. So when I say in 8 ounces, I have 2 ounces of milk, the same, so milk container. So the same relationship is still in play with a 20 ounce container. So this is one of those, I have two things, which would be containers versus milk. I have three numbers, eight ounce container, two ounce milk, 20 ounce container. And I'm looking for milk. So if I have three numbers, need the fourth thing, I'm talking about two things I can figure out by setting up a proportion. And I'm just gonna do cross products here, cross multiply and divide. I do two times 20, which gives me 40 and then I divide by the 8, so the x value is 5. So I have 5 ounces of milk in that container. Um, also, we could just look at the question before we start to work on it. An 8 ounce container has 6 ounces of coffee and 2 ounces of milk. So for every 2 ounces of uh, milk, I have 4 times that amount of container. So I'm looking at something that's 4 times itself gives you 20, it gives you easily to 5. It also doesn't make any sense for some of the other answers. If you have an 8 ounce container and 2 ounces of milk and you have a 20 ounce container, how can you fit 8 ounces of milk in it? That doesn't make any sense. And if it was 18 ounces and 20, that doesn't make any sense either because you just have a little bit of milk in 8 ounces. So 18 ounces is almost the entire container for 20. Uh, 15 ounces doesn't really make much sense either, but I guess I could sort of see where that happens. The 5 ounce thing makes a lot of sense. Also another way you could look at it is how do I get from 20 to 8? So I would do 20 divided by 8, which gives me 2.5, and I would just take 2 ounces of milk multiply that by 2.5 and it gives me 5. So there's a bunch of ways to get this answer. Uh, you could do 8 divided by 2 and find out that it's 0.25 and then do 0.25 times 20 and it'll give you 5. You know, whatever you want to do to get to the answer is fine. There's a bunch of ways to do it. But the key thing is look at the answer choices first and then realize what you need and what you don't from the question. It should get you right there where you need to go. So whatever method you want to use to get there is great. Uh, just choose any of those and it will work out to give you the correct answer of five.